Today I'm going to demonstrate how to do question 1 from 0620 May June 2016 paper 5 variant 2. This is one of the most difficult experiments in IGCSE chemistry practical papers. At first you have to prepare your burette and then secondly prepare your conical flask. I'm going to first outline how it's done using diagrams and later I'll show you the actual demonstration. So we fill up the burette to 40 cm cube mark with sodium thiosulfate and then we prepare a conical flask and fill it up with the following solutions. The next solution we add is 1 ml of sodium thiosulfate from the burette and then swirl to mix. Now we are ready to mix in the hydrogen peroxide and start the timer. Once the timer starts, you cannot stop. The timer needs to run throughout the experiment. I have filled the burette until 40 marks. Okay, 40 cm cube mark with sodium thiosulfate. And now I'm going to prepare the solutions that go in the conical flask. So here I need 100 ml of distilled water and then use the small measuring cylinder to measure 6 ml of sulfuric acid Also, starch solution, one mil. And potassium iodide. Uh, I just washed the measuring cylinder, but it doesn't matter if you don't wash, but I need to rinse this now with potassium iodide and I need 4 ml of that okay now I need to add 1 ml of sodium thiosulfate from the burette 1 ml of sodium thiosulfate Swirl. Okay. And then we are going to add 3 ml of hydrogen peroxide. Three ml of hydrogen peroxide. And we want to start the timer the moment we add hydrogen peroxide in there. Alright, we start the addition of hydrogen peroxide and start the time the timer right away. So start timer. <laughs> Doesn't start. <laughs> the moment it turns blue color, you have to take down the reading and record it. Record the time, the time in your column. Okay, that's your first. And then now, while still swirling, you add half a ml of biosulfate solution. Keep on swirling and notice the time when it turns to blue. Okay, that's your second reading. Take it down and then add more uh, biosulfate by 0.5 ml. And note down the time when it turns back to blue. Yeah, that's your third time. Add a further 0.5 mils. And again, record the time when it turns blue. Yeah. Another 0.5 mils. 
you should be reading all uh, you should be writing all the uh, time when it turns to blue okay write them down in your table and when you add the thiosulfate solution you have to keep on swirling the solution okay that's your next reading and you keep on doing this until you have added four mils of thiosulfate Okay, so as I said before, as you add the thiosulfate, you have to keep on swirling. You cannot put it down and add and then swirl because it will be too late for you and you cannot see the color change, okay? So you keep on swirling while adding the thiosulfate um, half a mil at each time. Okay, good luck.